What is good, everybody, man? Thank you all for tuning into the Blue Bloods. You know, had some stuff come up yesterday that kind of prevented me from uploading uh, any episodes. So I, we're going to have a lot of episodes drop in today on the Blue Bloods. A lot of them were supposed to drop yesterday. So, man, stay tuned all day for SWAC recruiting updates right here, man. Picking up that recruiting content for the off season here on the Blue Bloods. But big news yesterday as... Jackson State, man, really making an impact on the 2023 recruiting tra recruiting trail is Aiden Williams, one of the top wide receiving prospects in the 2023 class, announced his final six teams on Wednesday night, and there was one team that caught everyone's eye in this in this lineup of great schools, man. Jackson State made the list, of course. You also got Ole Miss. Georgia, Tennessee, LSU, and South Carolina. And when you look at Williams, consensus four-star prospect, wide receiver, 232 overall in the 2023 class, according to 247, a top 25 wide receiver in the class overall, and the number four player in Mississippi is the number one wide receiving prospect in the state. So this, this guy has been recruited by everybody. I mean, as an Auburn grad, I know Auburn was on him extremely, extremely early, didn't make the final six. But when you look at his recruitment, man, looking at the reports from all the different recruiting sites, Ole Miss had a lot of early momentum. A lot of people thought Ole Miss were like had this recruitment in the bag. I mean, listen, he visited Ole Miss three times already. But since Jeff Levy left for Oklahoma in that OC job up there with Brent Venables, a lot of the reports are saying the Rebels have lost a lot of momentum on the recruiting trail. And on three sports reporter Sam Spielman now reports that Tennessee has been the school to really take that number one spot and has gained a lot of momentum on the recruiting trail. And in terms of crystal balls, Ole Miss has won, but it's from an Ole Miss insider with only a six confidence rating. And there's still a long way to go. And Williams talked to on three sports and talked about his final six schools. And he said, quote, I feel like these six schools give me the best chance to succeed on the field and off the field and says that he is getting his official visits over the summer and early fall together. And after he wraps up those official visits, he's looking to make his commitment going into his senior season. So expect a commitment sometime late summer, possibly early fall, unless there's any change from what he's saying right now, which you never know in the recruiting process. But you look at what he's doing at high school, man, had an absolutely ridiculous season last year for his junior year at Ridgeland High. I mean, he's prime for a June, a giant senior season after his junior year. His sophomore year, two years ago, 58 catches, 765 receiving yards, and six receiving touchdowns. And then he comes back his junior year, increases his catches to 63, has over 1,100 yards receiving and 14 receiving touchdowns, while also, even though they didn't really list the stats, they said he played some running back, has some rushing touchdowns, and also played a little bit on defense when needed because Ridgeland has some holes on the defensive side of the ball and Williams was able to step in there and be a contributor. So extremely versatile, just a pure athlete. And you can see he is, his game is developing at an extremely fast rate. And his senior season, man, if he can get the 70 catches, maybe 12, 1,300 yards, and possibly get over that 15 receiving touchdown mark, he has a really good shot when they do the re-rankings of the senior class. Williams has a really good chance to possibly be um, – arguably the number one player in the state regardless of position and i think he can make a run into the top 200 and a lot of the scouts that you see writing about him say his ceiling is extremely high and he can grow into an even higher ceiling and when you looking at him as a prospect his height stands out immediately as an instant impact guy already six three six four depending on where you look and at the next level that's going to be huge he is he has the frame already 
to play at the next level. Now, I would like to see him add a few more pounds. He's about 190 now, depending on which site you look at. But I think when you look at just pictures of him, he could be closer to 210, 215 going into college um, in two seasons. And when you look at his game, the number one thing is that he is just a natural in using his frame in one-on-one -on -one situations. He knows he has a big body. He knows where to put it. He knows how to jump. And, he's, and he is a nightmare for smaller DBs and is going to bully them in one-on-one -on -one situations you see those receivers that have the large frame but but don't know but don't know how to position their body in the air in coverage in one-on-one -on -one situations to make that play that's not a thing for williams he knows how to do that he has strong hands great jumping ability and his ball skills are top notch he can track the ball in the air at a really high level now for the scouts, man, they really like his route running, and it pops out on film. He He's great in his breaks. He's great at breaking down his body. He, he runs all his routes similarly, and that's a big thing at the next level. A lot of the DBs I have on the channel talk about the number one mistake a wide receiver can make in coverage at the college level is – all his routes don't look the same. They said that it's the quickest way to get picked off. And right now, Williams is doing a great job of developing his route tree. And he's also an athlete, man, does track, has the speed to eat up cushion and coverage. And with that and with his frame and ability to play in one on one, that that if that cushion gets close too quickly, you're really out of luck here in coverage, man. But. Looking at the recruitment, I really do like Jackson State's chances. And you guys know on this channel, I will tell y'all if a team does not have a great chance or I don't feel like that things are trending in the right direction. But I like Jackson State's chances in the recruitment because Jackson State might have got to the game late. They didn't offer them to the 25th of January, and they still made the top six. Just, just for perspective, Ole Miss, according to 247, offered all the way back in September of 2020. So Jackson State has covered a lot of ground quickly, similarly to Georgia and Tennessee. But the next thing is Jackson State, I believe, is hosting him for their spring game on Sunday. This is going to be big. He unofficially visited Georgia for G-Day, has been to Ole Miss three times, like I mentioned, and also went to Tennessee for an unofficial visit, I believe, last month. And so this is a chance for Jackson State, Coach Prime, and this staff to really make an impact on Williams and get themselves training in the recruitment. And I'm not putting a lot of faith right now in the trending, I guess the trending talk on the recruitment. Yeah, Tennessee could be possibly gaining ground. But as we saw with the recruitment of Travis Hunter, Jackson State really operates underneath the table. There's not a lot of insiders to, with a lot of these companies for Jackson State. So I feel like even if Jackson State's trending, that's really not going to be picked up in a lot of these articles. So I would say Tennessee, Jackson State, and Georgia are probably the three teams you're going to have to watch out for here. But Jackson State has a real shot at landing Aiden Williams. He's right in their backyard out of Ridgeland, Mississippi. And I think this kid is one of those guys as a junior that you're seeing develop into one of the top players in the class. And I would not be surprised if he jumps into that top 20 wide receiving class come his senior year, especially if he comes out here and increases his stats and production once again. So look out for Aiden Williams out of Ridgeway, man. This kid is a baller. I'm a big fan of him. I've, I've known about this kid for a minute due to Auburn's interest. And so I really wanted to do an episode on, on him and really shine the spotlight on him because I think he is an instant impact guy at the next level. So I'll keep you guys updated on the recruitment. I would expect a, a commitment date set around late summer, early fall. So stay tuned for that. But guys, stay tuned to the Blue Bloods, man. A lot of episodes dropping today due to me not being able to post yesterday. But stay tuned for that. Subscribe, hit the like button, and comment your thoughts on Williams and Jackson State and being in or Jack State being in Williams final six, man. I really want to get y'all's thoughts on this. But until next time, guys, the Blue Bloods are out.